saying he will be playing. Today, of course, his lineup on the left, you will note. Will be QV back in the starting lineup. Yeah, Roach, Roach, had Roach. Those games in the Gin Air series, and they will prefer QV to start here. He is a name that has stepped up. He has awakened against Katie Rolster more often than he is not. Exactly. And this guy was part of the reason why KT had been gatekept for so long. The Aurelian Soul without seeing it if you're KT Rolster. Or you pick it because BDD has been playing a little bit of it in solo queue as well. He's an Aurelian Soul player. We actually had two. And yeah. that is pretty rare in any competitive game. I feel like we have the Aurelian Soul players as Umpty's going to be stepping into the roster, guys. So score is not going to be a part of KT Rolster. And if a slow today. crawl can be mapped onto a game plan to beat KT's roster today. We're going to find out soon. 9.2 debut. Both these teams want to put 9.1 in the dumpster and start anew. Yep, absolutely. I have a feeling new patch. We've new seen team. Vladimir Shen a lot, actually. It was one of the favorites of Griffin towards the uh, end of 2018 as well. It is trash in lane. Oh, Terrible. Yeah. This is just called conceding awful. lane entirely. Could not be any more rubbish yeah. in the 2v2. <laughs> it's so bad. But man, is it good later. And this is... Uh, Ezreal and Thresh being kind of just looking at the game, this wondering why Vladimir and Shen even tried to enter lane and fall behind. <laughs> yeah. And we know what Ruler can do, but let's hear from the fans. Yeah, he's going to do that. As uh, Snowflower is taking a bit of harassment here as the Infernal chains the flash forward, the Ignite. Is it going to be enough as Fly's ticking down? One more and that's it. The solo kill, you asked for it. It happens at 3 minutes 20. And it's in this Aatrox lane again with nerfed Ignite. The Ignite here does less damage. And Lissandra starts this at over full health. He actually loses out on some efficiency from a corrupting potion charge. Gets snapped back in. The flash comes in and Fly dies. Yep. That's just a full combo and you're dead. That's what happens wow. if you disrespect. Well, there's Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually clapping. Yeah, you guys got a pop a clap, oh, by the no. way. And a Pretty low minimum distance. Predator popped. rush on cooldown. And yeah, the Predator has been popped. There's Cuve not even going to flash. The Body Slam's been held onto for so long, and he's just dead. No opportunity to flash whatsoever. Outplayed, baby. Can't oh, outplay yeah. the Body Slam if you never Body Slam. <laughs> Someone, of course, got that one. Is Fly going to get knocked up? Okay. Plans all the damage to BDD. Looks like Fly was trying to bait, but Peanut didn't want a bar of it. Four Peanut is BDD. He's going to find the knock-up. Infernal Chains comes in. Peanut's being ignited. Could be another one as the flash was very late. It held on to a lot of BDD's time. Does walk up. Drake at about 1,800. Yep. Life actually saw BDD was there and said, no, I don't want this, but he has to have it. As now he's going to be taken down. The Thresh delivered towards the Aatrox. Paranoia for the follow-up here. Still four members of KT down, but they turn instantly. Peanut infernally chained and destroyed as he bit off way more than he could chew. Wilden was still available, Papa. Why did he hold in? They had. They must have... Yeah, again, uh, actually wants to find him for the first time here. Is the Infernal Chain going to be flashed on yet again? Fly doesn't take the claw because Stand United, as we mentioned before, is there. World Ender oh. means that he is going to probably survive. Okay, gets on out as the World Ender. Couple of seconds, but they don't Cube. wait long enough as Cube jumps on into the back line. The Shen is going to be taken down. BDD is cancelled out. And the cannon gets two free kills. Ah, KT Rolster a Four bit too. Four place to one is basically the gold lead here. Yeah. For Genji, so good to see. Top side. Paranoia is going to come in. No flash for King and no way to get out. Will he have the shield in time? The answer is no. Terrify comes in and Peanut, first successful game. Nice stuff there, QV and Peanut. Showing Sina don't deserve to get out of lane on paper this unscathed. Exactly, and it was all part of those early skirmishes as Umpty looking for Ruler. Body Slam going to be used. Was hunting for the flash. Too much distance was provided as Ruler did manage to use the flash. 14 minutes means the turret plates are now down. Trisha Barrage onto Shelly, but she's continuing her onslaught of this lane. And KT want a letter. It's going to take a lot of damage down here as finally. Yeah, the yes, Ruler and Fly can clear in the mid lane while we're waiting. But it's just kind of a weird standstill in the game where Genji's waiting oh, for this no. and KT. Umpty doesn't know. Yeah, the flash forward from Fly wants to take it down, but that's a great stopwatch coming in from Umpty. Can they save his life? The body slam gets in there, blocked by Peanut. As Umpty's still trying to keep himself alive. Cube doing so much work in the back line, but here comes Zenit. And Umpty somehow still alive. BDD here a little bit late now as life goes into his stasis and Kingen. Picks up that kill. It's a messy one, but ultimately relatively even. Yeah, two Drake control so far on the side of Genji is, uh, well, Peanut's in trouble. He is. 
Does, I believe, already have the GA, but has to choose an enemy target and doesn't want to go near any of them. There's so many wards on top of that lantern, you ain't taking that at all, and life could not offer his namesake to his jungler, and KT will get another dragon. Seems like communication around summoners was off. Peanuts flash about here, but they're not going to go in on this full health Gragas at the moment. Kingen. Yeah, Kingen. Purging this Raptor camp, it has to flash very early as Peanut pops the ultimate. Hook lands as the barrel comes down and King in. I don't know whether that was worth it for the stopwatch, but he does get out until he doesn't. True Shot Barrage going to finish off that kill, but it got close. As they're going to head over to this mountain, Drake BDD wants to jump on forward. World Ender comes down, a couple still in the pit. It's Cube throws out the slicing Maelstrom. This might be the cannon ult that they wanted as we're down into the passive for BDD. They get one of them as Zenit joins the fighters fly. Will be taken out eventually. Cell fault and Zonya's not enough. That is KT picking up two, but the mountain Drake as well as, well, I mean, nothing else on the back they end. Get out. Can't you get a fight? They shouldn't have been able to set up. Another on the Baron, and what will Genji do? Well, we'll see whether they can actually do anything here as Snowflower is just body blocking. The Baron down extraordinarily low. No vision available. And not going to be able to do an aiming on this one. Ruler didn't have True Shot Barrage, and KT get a free Baron. Themselves. Winning the game themselves just didn't happen. By taking a lot of damage here under the turret, is that's actually a Hemo play coming out from Zenit. Doesn't so, want to commit. It's okay. Ruler just kills Snowflower out of nowhere. Didn't see how the health bar started to go down, but the end of it very trivial from Ruler. Yes, the that's pretty cool. Yep. Ezreal damage as well. It's a pretty cool uh, Zenit healing as well from the Vladimir. Re Snowflower dives on forward. Don't know whether that's the engage they want though. As Fly does go into stasis in the middle of a team fight, we've hit sepia mode. That is a very pivotal time to call the pause. We got some very dramatic different angles here and we can still hear the sound. I've never seen a pause with a ground level in which to improve from. Improvement is a lot easier when you start at a point like this, but both of these teams need to start pretty damn soon if they want to get to these international events. Four, three, two, one. And flies in the back line. We've got Zenit. He gets hooked up, unfortunately, as that's a visual bug. Not another pause. Flash is traded here as BDD still has his. The Ignite didn't quite work out. We've got the disengage, and KT are going to be fine. Damn, we lingered on the Vladimir. Oh, just gatekeeping this one. Uh, and, Genji, hello. Uh, Peanut, they do throw down the ward, but hello? the Baron's just going to be taken. There's two Mountain Drakes there, guys. Yeah, that's uh, it's just a Baron. Golf clap coming out from the... Yeah. KT Faithful, to I mean, 809 I AP Vladimir. Good lord. Okay, Cubey going to be spotted out here. That's important, although they trade for Umpty's health bar. He's now down very, very low as they pick up the aggro on this Elder Drake. Sounds now Peanut. Peanut might actually get engaged on. True Shot Barrage is going to go completely wide as Gen G not pulling the trigger. They've got so many engage tools, so many options. But not actually pulling it just yet. Fly, Claw of Doom available. KT staying as a unit as BDD now looking for the flank. Flanking Aatrox isn't necessarily what you're expecting as the hook does land on a king. And, but in goes BDD. Paranoia uh -oh. comes down. But the explosion on the Thrash starts off the fight. Cube so damn low on the purge. Looking to take him down the flash forward. But not going to quite find it just yet. Double kill comes in from Zenit though. As Ruler versus the world. The Genji story is going to conclude. KT, they find the initiation and destroy the fight. Kenna does it well. Vladimir does it better. 800. 109 AP wielded on the faces of Gen G. They fall down. It was close, but no cigar. And that means that KT Rolster, after a weird and wonderful game, should end through bot, even though Peanut is valiantly trying to take down the mid lane minion wave. Yeah, I feel like I've seen this one before on his least. Now on the Nocturne, just farming when he can't do anything else. KT will win game number one against Gen G. It, there are ups. There were downs, but in the end, KT come out victorious, and they're still going to be happy. If there's ups and downs, the roller coaster's the winner. KT rolls to pick it up in game number one. Some pivotal problems, I think, for Gen G. Some of their coordination issues with Peanut crop up again. And KT rolls through in that such awkward spot where we hit mid-game, and suddenly we're like, wait, they can't siege. They can't side lane. They got gifted that Baron, the first Baron that won them the game, and the second one was bloodless as well because...